Hey guys, Sir Shepard G here. I got a sweet gun to do a video on. This is an HPA. Um, it's actually a Jack um, M4. So this is a friend's gun. Um, and I am going to go ahead and make a video on it. So I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to go over the parts. Um, now I'm almost out of air. So do keep that in mind. I'm at 80 PSI on this thing. Almost 80 PSI. It's probably about 75. And I have like 5,000 PSI left in this tank. And then I have like five or 500 left in this tank PSI. And I have like... 500 or less in the other tank so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot both tanks and see um, so I have it dialed in to a certain feet per second um, it's 360 currently with 0.25s um, and um, it's set for about 25 rounds a second but I'm concerned about when the tank is full because um, I don't know this specific gun um, how it's gonna act but this tank is almost empty, and at 80 PSI, it gets 360. But if it's a completely full tank, um, I'm concerned that it's, the FPS is going to go up. Um, so, because this thing shoots hard. He had it at like 110 or something when he brought it over. And this thing, if you bump it up to 120, which the Jack can handle, 120 with the current setup that he had, it's like 550 with point twos. I'm not even kidding. Um, so, th th it's crazy what FPS this can put out. Now, this Vulcan V12 here... Um, this thing does not work over 120 PSI. It does not work very well. It's an air hog. Um, and actually, it's not a bad engine, but it hogs the air even at like 80 PSI. It's getting like 300 with two fives, um, and it's draining the air. But that is a great engine for a version 2 um, CQB build. If you want to do a CQB build and run it at like 100 PSI and be a sub 350 or so. Um, but the jack, I'm going to get a jack. I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably two months and I should have a fully built um, HPA rifle. I'm not going to say what or rather SMG. <clears throat> so I'm going to be working on that here during the summer. So um, so I'm just going to go over what is on this. Um, so first of all we have a, a real MOE um, a full stock. They call it the fixed carbine stock. Um, it's got QD mounts on both sides. There's also an ambi mount on the receiver. Magpul pistol grip. Elite Force body, metal body. Um, the Airsoft version PTS uh, medium handguard length. I think it's a medium because it says M, but this is the longer version. There's a really short version. I think there's even a longer version. I think there's an M16 version. This is like the medium version. So um, there's a gas block on here. I'm not sure what kind that is. Um, and then there's a little extension here. I think there's actually two extensions on this. Um, and then there is a suppressor foam filled. The barrel goes to like right here. Um, it is a 6.03 steel Mad Bull barrel. Um, so it's about a 16 inch inner barrel. Um, a 16 inch outer and then the suppressor. Um, the scope is my brother's but the owner is going to buy a scope kind of like this. Um, in fact I already bought it for him or somebody else did, James did, because um, they worked out a deal. But <clears throat> it's going to be just like this and I'm going to sight it in for probably about 180 feet. Um, I'm currently using 0.25, and I think that's the best weight for him to use at the feet per second because um, the fields don't allow anything over 400. Now, if they allowed 450 semi-auto only, he could semi-auto lock this and do like 440 with 0.2s and use like 30s. Now, that would hurt a lot, but just, you know, semi-auto only. I, you can whale these triggers really fast on these HPA guns, so... I don't even know how I would feel about that. And the jewel on HBA guns is a lot higher too. So 440 with a .3, even using semi, you can get this thing to go really fast. I That's somewhat unfair, I think. Because um, some people don't use their discretion. But I really like the idea of building, I want to build a HPA SMG and run it at like 360 FPS with uh, .2s. I'll probably use two fives. So like 320 with two fives, I'm um, gonna just run it at like every field and do like 30, 35 rounds a second. Um, but you know, low enough FPS that I'm not gonna tear people up um, and not use a super heavy weight BB. Um, so that's that. Um, inside, there's a pro one and that Mad Bull barrel and a Mad Bull Shark bucking, which I don't like them. I do not like those buckings, they're not that consistent. But the, the store that had this. Um, actually did not, they use like an eraser or some piece of rubber for an R hop patch or R hop like nub and it was horribly inconsistent. I don't even know if they tested the thing or if it worked for them, if it worked at the higher PSI, but it was shooting too hot. So right now it's at just under 80. Um, 
on an almost empty tank and it's cycling it you know it fires the bbs but again i don't know if a full tank um i'm james is going to take these tanks to fill so i will test this with a full tank and i'm going to make sure it's at about 360 350 with two fives um it's got to be at that at, even at a full tank so um and i don't have a full tank to test it with so i put two fives in here in a china high cap he has a few Lone X flash mags. Um, he's got a bunch of mags, probably mid caps too, high caps, random stuff. Um, again, this is not the optics he's going to use. He's going to get a three to nine, so three to nine zoom. So that's a lot of magnification. Again, sight in for about 180 feet because um, this is his DMR. Um, especially with the flick stock, it's a DMR type gun. Um, the only thing that I would recommend to him, again, that scope. That's that's a good thing um, maybe a grip on here maybe like an rvg i think he wanted an rvg that would be cool um or a rail segment and put a bipod and an rvg or something like that um but internally it's just fantastic um it's working fantastically so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot it here it's super quiet it's foam filled suppressor um i don't know when the air is gonna run out so yeah we'll see i really hope that even on a full tank it's gonna work um sub like 400 with two so about 360 350 with uh 0.25s so i'm gonna go and chrono this real quick just before it runs out of air so it's on for 0.25s 373 371 373 376 i'm gonna go and turn it down just a tad hopefully that's down That was up. What do you know? All right, that's three thirties. I took it down. down even more all right 350 go ahead and turn it up a half a turn and see what that gives us 360s Go ahead and take it down a tad, though. Because I don't want it really getting 370s. Alright, 370. There we go, low 360s. So, there we go. See how quiet it is. Now, showing high 350s, which is good. High 350s, low 360s. Again, I'm running out of air. Yeah, I can hear it running out of air. It's about 25 RPS. You can see with that trigger, I love that. All right, let's go ahead and shoot again. Still in the 350s. That's pretty good, that's where it needs to be. Um, his regulator may not be the most consistent, it is amped. The amped regulators are like budget, um, so it could be that as well. 
they're not bad. I mean, they're good for the price, but like FPS wise, sometimes it fluctuates, especially for shooting fast. Which I mean, if your if your hop is putting your BBs in the same spot, if there's a fluctuation between like 10 to 15 FPS, that wouldn't bother me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try this tank here. This is my. Uh, So you hear you hear how much louder it is because this is set for 120 psi. Holy crap! What is it gonna shoot at? I'm guessing 500, 450, 480, 480, 481, 481. Four seventy nine. So at 120 PSI, the jack can get up there. Listen to that. I'm going to do a full auto for you, and you can listen to it hitting the target. I'm running this tank out of air, too. This is why HPA can be dangerous, but I love it. Not, not the dangerous aspect, but I love HPA. So... That's my tank in line. I have to run 120 um, with my USP, but when I do an HPA rifle, I'm probably going to run it at probably 70 with the shorter barrel. That should put me where I want it. So, sorry for the long video, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot a little bit more because um, shooting is fun, and I think you guys think so too. So, if you have any questions, you can ask again we're running like right under 80 psi and it's shooting like 400 with twos is about where it would get um so i'm hoping that when we get the tank completely filled it doesn't go up and down um i may see if james wants to i don't know if he's busy today see if he wants to go out and get the tank filled Yeah, 360s. The first few shots are lower, so I don't. That's probably a bucking issue. Um, but even if the few first few shots are lower FPS. All right. So thanks for watching, guys.